Hey there. So I still get the question from lots of people, how do I get started with research? And I want you to remember that your job is not to write a research paper, it's to do research and write a paper about the research. So one of the easiest ways to get started is to gather a lot of material and sift through it as efficiently as possible so you can come up with your topic. This is even before you formulate your hypothesis and do all kinds of other things. I mean, the hypothesis is really an outgrowth of the process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through just using a couple tools here to get yourself started with research. So I've got PubMed open. I've got Google open in the back as well here. And I'm going to walk through using a couple tools to get myself uh, kind of with a stack of papers that I can scan through over the weekend because, you know, I'm a geek and I do that kind of stuff. So I'm going to pop on over into advanced. I'm uh, coming back to an oldie, oldie but a goodie topic that I haven't looked at in a while. So this is massage and I'm going to go ahead and add this into my builder and then inflammation. Always good if I can spell. And remember that my Boolean term here is and because I want articles that only have both of them. There's 16,000-ish massage articles in PubMed and probably a gazillion on inflammation. So here I've got 304. 304 seems like a lot, but look at my display options here and I'm saying giving me 200 per page, I can scan down these pretty quickly. But there's something kind of fun up here in the upper right hand corner of my screen. I, I'm using um, Google Chrome and I've got EndNote Click uh, plugin installed. It used to be Capernio and Note Click now. And it shows me up here in this little itty bitty number that 75 of these articles are available in full text somewhere. Now this is a little bit of a tease because all of them aren't. Sometimes you're going to hit a glitch where a journal blocks your ability to download it. But, um, but and, you know, certainly anything that's available with full text, this is an easy enough way to find it. So I'm going to scroll down through my results here and just look for my purple buttons that pop up and say, oh, this just uh, no, 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 no. sleep deprived impairment has nothing to do with my eventual topic. Um, signaling lymphatic vasculature, uh, mm, it sounds a little heavy. Um, cellulite imaging, nope, not so much. Indicators of repetitive overuse and blah, 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 rat models, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna do a couple things here to get my notes. One is I'm gonna go ahead first and click on the title here so that I get into the abstract. And then once I get into the abstract, something else, I'll tell you about this Mendeley thing in just a second, but I'm gonna pull my citation out of here. So I just hit cite and NLM, whatever citation you're using, um, doesn't really matter. This is just for note taking purposes. I'm gonna hit copy. And then I've got a Word document open over here. Hello, Word document. And in my Word document, I'm gonna go ahead and paste, right click here and, uh, nope, I just, I'm just gonna hit Control V and paste my citation. And then I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down, close this out, and um, then I'm gonna click on the URL up here and I wanna copy this. And then I'm gonna bring in my notes here and I'm gonna Control V and hit the hyperlink. And that way I can always come back to this. So I've got just a couple citations. Yeah, I'm really just getting started with this. Let me just format my header here. Um, but I want to just be able to go through, scroll, um, figure out kind of what I have to play with and then I'll figure out where I'm going with this writing. So as long as I'm consistently doing citation, hyperlink, citation, hyperlink, I'm fine for the moment. I can later on turn this into a table. So I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna minimize and now I'm gonna come back on over and see what my options are to actually get the article itself. So I'm not sure if I really wanna use this article yet. I just know that I wanna make sure if I can get it, I wanna get it and put it someplace so I'll be able to find it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click on EndNote Click and see see what happens over here. And this is one of the open access journals, so it should be good. And it popped up. Download PDF. And when this gets downloaded, it comes. It gets downloaded with a really nice name that starts with the, uh, the first author's um, last name and gives me a decent citation. And so that's going to go into my downloads folder. So as I'm going through trying to populate my library here, I can go ahead and click out of this. Um, I will be able to uh, just get a whole bunch of articles, stick them in a folder, and put them someplace that I'll be able to find them. So it, it, it's kind of like going to a library and just pulling a bunch of things off the shelf. So I'll do another one, scrolling down again, and here we um, have another rodent model. Oh, poor rodents, they have low back pain. I'm very sorry for them. Um, now, I'm not sure. Oh, it's open access, so I should be able to get this one easily as well. It's just much easier to do this than to try to search around and find all the journals when you can. So again, I'm going to copy the citation, come into my notes file, and paste Control-V, hit Enter, 
and then minimize this, come on over here, and I'm gonna copy the hyperlink to the abstract, and here I found it, all good. And if I can't necessarily, I mean, if I can't get the full text, um, it's not gonna be a deal breaker for me at this point, but what I'm not doing is I'm not trying to hunt things down so I can be really efficient. Pop on over here and click on this again, and it, now we've got an invalid or corrupt file. So what's happening here is military medicine is blocking EndNote Click from letting me grab this article. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of here and pop on over here and look at perhaps, let's see, it says it's open access. So let's click into Oxford Academics. Now we are kind of um, hit a little bit of a roadblock. Um, but let's see if I can grab this now and... It looks like it's a freebie. Let's see what happens. And L-O-G-H-M-A-I. I have to remember their first author's last name. So this is going to take a little bit more. And so you can see that it's a lot slower if I'm looking at this here rather than being able to just get it pulled in. So finally find it. Um, and I can download this and save it to my downloads folder. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see, um, L-O-G-H, that was something like that, and I'll have to double check this later. So um, save that. I'm just going to put a single name because I do want to go back and make sure that I start to file my articles correctly. Otherwise, it's going to get really messy. So pop on over here again. Um, what uh, what I have, but didn't see, let's see if I can do one more for you here. So you notice where it's searching on some of these searching little buttons. And sometimes you get a little free article, uh, not that I want this one, but um, free articles from other journals that somehow aren't getting pulled in in the same manner. Uh, so let's see, here we go. So that's the one that I just had. I think I misspelled their name. Um, Self signaling, I don't want. Internal organs, electroacupuncture, not so much. Gingivitis, ouch. Uh, moxibustion, hmm, not so much. Um, Intervention spread by status of travel. Uh, okay, massage and inflammation. That's what we're looking for. Oral microbiome. Uh, mechanical simulation of fibroblasts. Rip. Okay, there we go. This looks interesting. Yay. Um, another Biomed Central. So let's do one more of these. Um, okay, Mendeley pops in again. So I do have a Mendeley plugin here with this browser as well. At some point when I opened Mendeley, um, I was able to install that. So uh, my sense is they're probably doing the same thing. I'll have to look at that in another video. For now, I'm going to um, pop through um, uh, pop through EndNote just one more time. So remembering that the first thing I want to do is grab my citation, copy my citation, get this together, and there we go. And then come back on over and close out of here, get my hyperlink. And I'll, you know, although it seems maybe if you're not used to doing this, it seems like this is a little bit tedious. I'm really able, I've been able to in, in what, you know, I don't know, 20 minutes or so line up uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'll probably have five or six papers that I'll be able to read this weekend. So I think I just clicked on this. Here we go. Um, here's the article. Download the PDF. It's beautifully named. And I'm going to X out of here. And so the last thing I'm going to show you is if I can pop on over into um, my uh, what I'm going to be reading this weekend. Let's go into my downloads folder and um, let's see, I have copied a couple of articles more than once, which is a little bit funny and weird. So let me pull this over so you can see this. Um, as I've downloaded them, some of these have come in a few times. So I've done a couple searches already. So where I have these little parentheses numbers here, I can just take these and delete them. Uh, move them to my recycle bin, same thing here, move it to the recycle bin, and now I've got one, two, I have no idea what that is, a photo of something that I downloaded, a picture. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I've got about seven or eight articles, pretty easily found the full text, and uh, all thanks to this plugin. So the plugin's free, um, definitely use it. It can save you some time and it more than likely if you're not, I mean, I'm in PubMed, occasionally I, I pop in through a university library, but as I'm going through um, uh, all of my searching, um, it's it gives you almost any PDF on any topic. It just works out pretty easily here. So that helps you get uh, a big stack of articles that you can read and you can sift through. And, um, and, and again, you don't really have to read them so much as scan them and start to look for themes. 
and it's a real super easy way to educate yourself. So I hope this was helpful. Happy researching.